Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the virtual assistant software development lifecycle. Uh, so there's four primary stages in the lifecycle of a virtual assistant. Um, <clears throat> stage one is the design and build. Stage two is training. Stage three is testing. And stage four is deployment and performance enhancement. So let's start with step one, right? Designing and building your virtual assistant. So this is where you're going to go through and think about what the experience is that you want to deliver with your virtual assistant. At the end of the day, the experience is what's going to bring your customers, your users back to the virtual assistant and drive adoption over time. So this is where you're going to identify what are the use cases that we want to build out? Uh, what are the responses? When do we want to have buttons or widgets or different graphics that come up? What is the experience based on what channels we're deploying to? Is it going to be a web or a mobile or a, uh, a phone call experience? What is that experience going to look like depending on the channel? So this is where you're going to go through the entire conversation design process, and then you can build out the framework Essentially, it's like building out the, um, you know, putting, put it, building out the skeleton of what you're going to, you know, further down the road, complete with training, testing, and your deployment. So you're going to build that framework in stage one, and then you're going to move on to stage two, which is the training phase. So in training, you're going to be gathering a bunch of data on how users, how people would talk about certain topics. Uh, for example, if somebody wants to ask about an order status, you know, what's the status of my the, the board shorts I bought last week or the t-shirt that I bought last week? Um, if somebody wants to ask a question about their you know, finances, what is my balance? How much cheddar do I have in the bank? Um, how much dough do I got, right? There's a lot of different ways that people can speak about these different topics. So in the training phase, you're going to be collecting data to train the um, <clears throat> to train your natural language understanding on so that it can have understanding and intelligence around those topics and understand what your user users are asking for so it can then execute whatever action is required. Okay, so we're through training and then we're going to jump into testing. So testing is going to be where we're identifying if the virtual assistant works or not, right? We're going to be seeing if, if it understands questions that the user is asking. We're gonna be identifying gaps. What doesn't it understand so that we can then make it more intelligent and fill in some of those gaps. The testing can be you know, individual utterances or queries. It can also be done as a batch testing and you can also do this as an entire conversational test. The conversational test is more of what is the entire end-to-end -end user experience looking like? And then finally, we get to stage four, which is our deployment and performance enhancement, right? So the deployment, this is when we're getting ready to launch this to all of the customers that you have, right? The virtual assistant is, it's designed, it's built, it's trained, and it's tested. So. All things considered, it should be working well for the things that it's trained on. And the deployment phase is when you're gonna really get it into the hands of your users and start delivering that experience with that virtual assistant. With the deployment, you're also going to go through some performance enhancements. As, as more people are interacting with the virtual assistant, you're going to be understanding what it understands, what it doesn't understand, and where you can find ways to improve the virtual assistant whether that is making it more intelligent over time by training it on more data that you're collecting from production users, or whether it's changing the response experience, changing what graphics are shown, even just changing the look and feel of the virtual assistant. So the performance enhancement is really holistically around everything from the NLU understanding all the way to responses and what is the end user experience um, each time that somebody interacts with the virtual assistant. So this is a little bit about the virtual assistant software development lifecycle. 
And we will have additional videos that dive into some of these phases into more detail as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and look forward to talking to you again soon.